What is force? Let me tell you what you will probably read in your textbooks. Force is a push or pull upon an object, right? Though this cannot be really classified as incorrect, it hardly explains anything about the concept of force. This is what you will assume after reading this definition. You will imagine a stationary object on the ground and someone pushing it or pulling it. Yes, when force is applied, the stationary object will move. But just this does not explain the concept of force entirely. Before we move on to the definition of force, let's clear a few misconceptions about it. Let me ask you a question. This ball is lying at rest on the ground. It's stationary, not moving at all. Is there any force acting on it? Listen to my question carefully. Are there any forces acting on the ball when it is stationary? If your answer was a no, or if you didn't have an answer, it means you don't know the concept of force yet. The answer is yes. There are forces acting on this ball. There is a gravitational force which is trying to pull the ball towards the center of the earth. And the ground is applying an equal force exactly in the opposite direction. This force is called the normal force. Because these two forces are balanced, they do not change the position of an object. The net force acting on the ball is zero. So what does this tell you? Just humans pushing or pulling is not the only kind of force. And just because there are forces acting on an object will not mean the object will move. For the object to move, there has to be some net force. So now let's say a person softly kicks the ball. What happens then? Yes, the position of the ball changes. Why did the position change? It's because there was another magnitude of force acting on it and this time the forces were not balanced. The ball moved and there was displacement. But hold on, why did the ball stop moving after covering 15 meters? The ball started moving at a pace and then slowly came to a halt. If there's no force from the other side to stop it, how did it stop? Was there a force which stopped it? Yes, it was friction that stopped the ball. While the force you applied was towards the right, the force of friction was towards the left. Let's make it even more interesting. Assume your screen to be a frame of reference in this example. Also assume that this straight horizontal line is a frictionless flow and there's no air resistance. The ball appears from the left of your screen and moving towards the right at a uniform velocity of 2 meters per second. The only two forces acting on the ball are the gravitational and the normal forces which net each other out. In this setting, will the ball ever stop moving? No, it won't. It will continue to move along the same path at the same speed unless there is another external force which acts on it. Here, as the forces are balanced, the ball will continue to move at 2 meters per second. Most people assume that if the object is moving, then there is some net force acting on it, but that's not true. An object will continue to move at uniform velocity, even if the net force on it is zero. So there are two things we've learned here. First, if the object is stationary and the net force acting on it is zero, then it will continue to remain at rest. Second, if the object is moving at uniform velocity and the net force acting on it is zero, then it will continue to move at that same uniform velocity. Now, when this ball is moving at 2 meters per second and there is an external force applied from the left, what will happen? Yes, the ball will accelerate. Its velocity will change. Let's say the velocity changes to 3 meters per second after this external force is applied. After that, the ball will continue to move at 3 meters per second unless acted upon by another external force. So nobody's really seen or touched force. It can only be understood by knowing what happens to an object when force is applied to it. If the body is stationary, do not assume that there is no force acting on it. And if the body is in uniform motion, do not assume that there is some net force acting on it. So what is force? A force is a push or a pull upon an object resulting from its interaction with another object. So when you kick the ball, the ball also exerts some force onto your leg. But as the force of your kick is stronger, the ball moves to the right. There are many more concepts we need to understand about force, which we will cover in the next video.